Corvette C6R, GT, well, look in the box, GT2, this is part of a set of two. One of them is solid body, which is the number four, I believe. Without going to look, I'm not sure. This one is the number three, which is the detailed one, it has the lights and so on. I have tested the solid body one before and I did find it to be slightly faster than the detailed one, but that's because it hasn't got the lights or the driver, so it's a lighter car. This one, haven't tried, I am going to guess it's going to back end slide. It looks like the Viper, but unlike the Viper, the motor is at the back, so it is a sidewinder, not an inline. Let's test this car, shall we? The race begins when the red lights go out. Okay, this doesn't feel as fast as my car race today. I'll we'll try it. Back end is sliding quite a lot. I'm taking my time with this at the moment. Faster flat. Ooh, it's a nice looking car, it's just so badly balanced. Just wants to continue to kick out to the side as it goes around the corner. You can probably deal with this by changing the tyres or adjusting the tyres, rebalancing the axles, possibly different magnets. I think it's a bit of a for most cars, but generally, you can't push this, you can see it just wants to let go. Constantly wants to let go. And then it goes flat. There we go, it just slides. Try and push it at all, it slides. No loss of control completely there. Taking a lot of control to keep this thing actually on the track. Every time you hit that foot, it's going to lift off and leave the track. It's a brake early and then gently through the corners, do not push too hard. It's not going to be the fastest car in the GT2 range. But it looks nice. I have to choose between this and the Dodge Viper. I actually think I'd race the Dodge Viper. Now, a lot of people know my opinion on that car. Love the model. Issues with the way it fits. This thing, too heavy on the back end. Or the magnets in the wrong place. It's possible the magnets would go to the back. Or lower. But the car is pretty close to the track already. When I took the detail, the, sorry, the solid body version out, I found the same problem. I found it tanked flat a bit as well. And that's a lighter, faster car. Solid bodies don't have drivers in them. They have the canopy look like They have black glass instead of see-through glass. And they have no lights. And they're slightly cheaper. Oops, sliding there. I'm not really sure how much of that you can see behind them. There is a hairpin behind the monitor. We're well, outside of the radius one going around there. And the back end is just pushing out quite heavily when you do it by that way. One minute to go. Thanks for the good one. I'm not going to abandon this race. I uh, want to. Really not liking why this car drives. I do think if you sat down with it, you could probably get it balanced. Wouldn't take long. A little bit of tyres. Probably a different way. The bar magnet might, not the bar magnet, the step magnet might help it better. Just from cornering, but holding it in track. And apart from that, though, I honestly have no idea. I've got my head what needs to be driving to this car. It is pulling constantly one way. From what I can work out. I don't think that's the point of the track, I actually just think that's how the car is. Oh, off we go. Ten seconds to go, I doubt this is going to make another lap. And that's the end of the race. No, 16 laps in four minutes. The victory goes to lane three. And it's still sliding all over the shop.
12.43, best was 13.12, 16 laps in 4 minutes. Give you the Corvette C6R.